My name is Dustin Gaines. I'm an athletic trainer here at Nova Southeastern University. My primary responsibilities are the health care and welfare of the women's soccer team and the men's basketball team. The mission of the athletic training staff is to provide the gold standard in health care for our student athletes so they can perform both on and off the field here at NSU. Every incoming student athlete, um, whether it be at a freshman or a transfer, they obviously go through their pre-participation physical process to make sure that they're cleared from a medical standpoint. But after that, we actually take each of our student athletes through a functional movement screen. It's a series of seven basic movements. We grade them on how well they move. Ones that don't move so well, we can actually take them and put them into a corrective exercise program to help prevent injury. They may come in completely healthy, but if we identify something on our functional movement screen that may lead to injury in the future, we can hopefully ward that off so that they're able to stay healthy, stay on the field, and perform better. One of the things that I noticed was I had horrible squat technique. And what the FMS uh, screening or testing did was it showed me how I could improve upon that. And so going into the screening at the end of the year, I was able to fix my squat technique uh, in order to have more precision as far as movement on the field and off the field. Graston technique is a instrument-assisted soft tissue mobilization technique that utilizes surgical stainless steel tools. We use these instruments to kind of scan over the soft tissue of our student athletes. Sometimes when an athlete is not moving well, it's potentially they have a soft tissue restriction in one area and the Graston technique allows us to look for inconsistencies and then work on them to hopefully free them up and it helps bring blood flow to the area and a lot of our athletes find that in areas where they may be tight or immobile or limited, the Graston technique is a really quick, efficient way of identifying those limitations and then helping to correct them. Graston has helped my overall performance really well because if I'm able just to feel a lot more loose in the water, I'm able to perform my strokes a lot more efficiently and I just feel a lot more better overall by having it. The HydroWorks pool, other than our own hands as clinicians, is the greatest piece of rehabilitation equipment we have here in the athletic training room. It's a 6,000 gallon pool that has a treadmill in it. The treadmill, we're able to bring it up all the way to the surface so that a patient can walk right on, and we're able to drop it all the way down to six feet. So the athlete is able to move underwater, run underwater, walk underwater. It's excellent because the buoyancy of the water allows us to do more with an injured student athlete than we could on dry land. So if we put them in at about uh, waist deep, they're only supporting about 50% of their body weight. If we put them about chest deep, they're only supporting about 25% of their body weight. Whether we're doing corrective exercises or formal rehabilitation from an injury, the HydroWorks pool allows us to do things earlier, quicker, faster, and with less stress on the athlete, so it's excellent. And even some of our intensive sports, like our cross countries, our tracks, our soccers, sometimes they'll get into HydroWorks and just jog or run and use it as an alternative to their normal land-based workouts that they do.